Aloha. This is Cosmic Love, and I'm here with... Eddie. And Manuela. (laughs) And we're on a really beautiful walk in the park in Albion. The beautiful grids of Albion. What does Albion mean? Albion is the planetary logos, the divine blueprint of the human as connected to all natural systems, the restoration of our harmonious true nature in relation to the cosmos. And so we are walking through the forest together and we are blessed by the elves and the fae and the trees and, yeah. and the beautiful children and all the and lovely doggies yeah <laughs> families yeah. And yeah we were diving into our galactic remembrance our cosmic and galactic remembrance and mm-hmm. just having a chat about that and so i feel let's start with eddie because you had some questions yeah well you know like like many of us, you know, I would just want to be in more um, divine connection with um, this council that is always speaking to us in so many different ways. And, you know, being able to just sit down with that and, and answer the call, I guess, would be the way to put it. And, um, and really coming down to a beautiful council together and be in ceremony and prayer and, and activate that and follow that guidance and to follow your bliss, you know, as Joseph Campbell would say. So, yeah, it's just, I have so many questions. But um, really feeling called more towards um, an Arcturian uh, lineage. But, you know, I'm really exploring so much. And it's just like unfolding, unfolding, unfolding. And just like following the little things that are, that are hidden. And just like leading to more and more and more synchronistic bliss and, and power. So it's really leading to like a, a source of empowerment. Mm. What's that? The tree. Oh, the tree. So wow. Cool. Yeah, this is amazing. Take a moment for the Look trees. Tree. We're just wow. having a tree hug. Mm. Oh. <laughs> a reminder yeah, let me get a picture of the tree. to have a moment we'll with the beautiful it. trees. It's a podcast. Mm. I want us all to just take a deep breath in and feel the loving remembrance of Mother Gaia and all of her beauty and her ability to heal on instantaneous healing. And breathe out anything that does not serve and know that the trees absorb it for us and release oxygen for us. It's a beautiful cycle. Everything's just the most beautiful cycle. And there is no time. Everything is just one giant pulse of love in one moment. So let's just take in the moment. (sighs) Re-remembering this. This eternal truth. (sighs) Paying respect for so many different versions of us that we can see everywhere. So we much love. love. We, we love we. Oh, we trees. Perfect math, the way the branches are. What a gorgeous being. Yeah, so strong. So strong. Mm. Hey, love. Would you from like to say? Galactic councils. Can oh, we I just... want to hear more from. Yes. Cosmic well, I want to hear more <laughs> from Eddie. Okay. So, okay, yeah. we were walking along and you were talking and then we just stopped to. To visit that gorgeous tree and we're sending the, that same love out to all the trees because there's mm-hmm. quite a few here to hug yes <laughs> Sounds good. Send it out. Yeah. so when you started mm-hmm. um sharing you were sharing about the council these mm-hmm. ca- councils that are in communion with us i'm yeah. curious can you share more about how you've experienced that in <clears> your life I think, well, meditation has definitely been a way to connect further and further into this. And I think just allowing myself to have surrender, you know, and typically like as a man in the society, you know, it's get kind of rigid and we get, you know, and allow ourselves to just drop into our feminine and just like breathe it in and receive guidance, you know, properly receiving that and, you know, knowing that there's no right way to do it, just like 
be in that receiving ship of love and open up your heart as much as you can. And the more that I have, the more like channelings of creativity that is coming through me and the more powerful paintings and the more spiritual my paintings just seem to naturally evolve into, you know, no set plan with painting anymore, no set plan with, with dancing or anything, just allow it to pull through. And I feel like the guidance and the counselors are telling me to move just like that and just like just express yourself as much as you can and i just think that that's the overall guidance is just express and move all this density through your body out into physical form and empower people and release people from these shackles that we've been genetically holding on to and all this trauma and god it's all over the place so it's like, let's just shake it shake it move it you know shake therapy and move it right off and and uh yeah Like, just like old, like dense, dark glitter. Like, just feel it running off, you know? Mushrooms, mushrooms. We love the mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's a cool one. Yeah, that's cool. Right in the center. Hi, little one. There's another one there. It's a baby. Oh, yeah. It's so cute. Yeah, we got a little picture. Take a moment for the beauty. Wow. (laughs) Hmm. But yeah, just having a lot of trust that everything is divinely orchestrating itself, right? And the more that we can, the more that we could surrender, the more that we could surrender, the more we could feel more love, the more that we create more space for love, the more that we can create more of a, not just a ripple, but a huge wave of emotion, which is this energy and motion moving through and out the system and just have fun, you know? It's all they want. It's the future. Just, just have fun and release. Woo-hoo! And be that inner child again. Yeah. You know, like maybe you didn't even have much of a chance to even have that. Maybe there's a lot of control in your family, a lot of control in general, right? But now we're we're getting rid of that, and what we're moving through the truth. Experience with the councils is so interesting mm-hmm. to me because I speak about the councils, the guidance, and the councils. Right. So I'd love to know more about your experience, your first experience when you really had that sense that you were communing with councils. Well, it's interesting because, like, I didn't really know much about like Arcturian, um, the different types of of you know star lineages really until my friends were starting to bring it up like my friend Liam and Lewis and um thank you for seeing me seeing into me I suppose these brothers and there was a powerful moment where I went out into the forest with my friend Lewis and he sat me down and he just wanted to have a moment where he just stood at me and stared into me and just said these are all the powerful things that I see in you I just want to be witness and express it to you and I just received that and it was the same energy as, as from, the, from the councils, technically. But I didn't know what the word was for that. And I've always like, had a connection with that ever since I was a child. But he saw the Arcturian lineage within me. And it really like, activated something in me the moment that he said that. But, you know, it's just kind of a journey of lots of questions. <laughs> and lots of, like, where, how, like, and, and just absorption of knowledge, I think, is, like, where I'm at right now. And just wanting to read and connect and get back to this like old root that is like really deep within me and you know humanity is is deeply rooted as well so yeah yeah i just it's hard to describe it words i don't know how to describe it words properly but um i just want to like shoot energy and just like can you feel it and then you'll understand I don't know. How but, many people on the planet yeah. do you feel are going through this simultaneously right now? Oh, so much. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. It's just like the biggest wave of this and like so much re-remembering and I think it could be really confusing and it could like really create a lot of anxiety and a lot of like, you know, old wounds are surfacing in order to be healed and like we don't understand why and, you know, and like all this like global depression because we realize that we're playing this like avatar that we just like don't really want to do anymore we just want to be you know but we don't know how to execute we don't know the soul family yet perhaps in some ways and you know these like councils really want to guide us back home to our like beautiful pods of galactic family that are right now in the human form but you know we're here for a mission and we're here to come together and we're here to be creative and to play and to dance and and to be back into nature and you know the mother is really holding space for us right now as much as we should 
really hold space for her too because she's going through so much right now so much shifting so you know we were just talking earlier about feeling like the grief around the world like just like so much has been moving and so much death and so much you know into a cycle of rebirth you know but it's all happening as it should and try my best to not get so upset at it you know i get really angry at oh yeah yeah get really upset at the uh the powers that be that really that were that were thank you the forces that were the forces that were that you know such low energy such negative energy but the power of our light um is so much more powerful than that just a single drop of that just creates such a ripple such a wave such a crash that is nothing but love so yeah just remembering this remembering this truth dropping back in this truth let's yeah. chat about the forces for a minute okay okay good question so we've come from an experience of external authority the belief in an external authority but really is there Phoenix sent me a wonderful link on uh, a circus show. And to avoid cruelty to the animals, the animals in the circus show are now holographic. It kind of seems like the veils are coming off, team. To remind us that the entire reality is holographic. Our creation. And isn't it possible that those external forces were our creation? That just like the soil that a seed is planted into, that soil applies pressure onto that seed for it to crack? That that's what the external authority has always been. It's just been the dark soil around us applying pressure on us to be sure that we open that we blossom and if that's the case and we're a seed then we wouldn't be in existence as the blossoming and burgeoning of that seed without the soil oh <laughs> yeah oh wow i feel that so much right now so then how could we ever feel resentment towards the soil when the soil was the necessity for us? It needed to be, just like again in the yang, it just... To open. It needs to be, exactly. And then we love the soil because we realize that it's a nutrient and it's a part of who we are. Mm. And as the seed opens, what is to be discovered? What is blossoming through? That's the exciting part of the councils. Because all of these aspects, in no time, in no linear time as we're quantum, how do these names come to us like Arcturian and Pleiadian? We're in the Pleiadian alignment right now. What does it mean, really? Is it some distant future? Was it some place from the past? Or is it the coding inside of us that's always been there? Mm. That as the seed cracks open and the little stem begins to come from the earth and rise up and the flower becomes a bud and then a blossom, maybe that's the Arcturian inside of ourselves. Maybe we never left anywhere. Maybe we're never going back anywhere. Mm. Maybe we're just exploring a new kind of coding inside of ourselves and maybe every cosmic code that's ever been in existence is inside of each one of us and we have the transmutative power to be the seed, to be the sprout, to be the bud, to be the blossom, continually shifting and changing while our consciousness all along never passes, continues to enjoy the journey in each shape and form that we are. Maybe that's the Arcturian that we're discovering. What does Arcturian look like to you? Deeply resonates to me. 
<sighs> okay, I'm just, I just need to take a moment. Yeah, but before you answer the wow. question, that question, Beautiful. I had a, this quote come to mind that I remember changed my whole perspective on everything, and it goes, the only appropriate response to life itself is gratitude. Mm. Oh. Because the, because if you're alive and even if you're under pressure, like if you're a seed in the soil and you're surrounded by darkness, like Cosmic Love is saying, that the darkness is only there to help you crack under the pressure so that you can expand and grow into your potential of what you are actually here to be. So everything, like Matt Cotton says, everything is here to help you. Mm. So even the the protagonist is fighting against the antagonist in the story. Well, if there was no antagonist, then there would be no hero and so on and so on and so on. So everything that's hurting you is only helping you. So the only appropriate response to pain and to fear and to struggle and to darkness is gratitude. Always. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Surrendering to gratitude. Profound. Thank you. We say yes. 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 A full, yes. I'm always an all in full F yeah. Yeah. <laughs> totally. Gorgeous. I That's love so your well sharing. Mm-hmm. Thank you. We are so grateful for we. We're, so We're so grateful. Or as I like to say, gracious, Phil. Mm. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Hi, big tree. Mwah. <sighs> <laughs> mm-hmm. And we could definitely word it as the dark night of the soul. It's just the deep planting of our seed and then we bloom we powerfully bloom that's going to be part of one of our workshops i love that yeah yes exactly we're gonna dark night of the soul we're gonna (laughs) we're we're throwing our seeds out there and it's 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 planting but yeah and and the beauty of it and is that we have so much variety on our planet just like you know every single different type of flower within each being is going to be shown and we're going to see so many different types of new colors and new varieties and we're just like really creating what it means to be a being now you know we we have like so much power to really like take the reins Mm -hmm. of all this you know we take yeah we take our beauty into our own hands now and we exemplify total freedom in the process yeah yeah. It's all us. So. It's all us. Yeah. <laughs> it's that remembering that it's all us and our consciousness as we continue to do what you were saying mm-hmm. about, um, you know, the, the purging that's occurring on the planet. Yeah. And that, that purging, yeah. exactly, yeah. the 50 gene, the We're shadow. Not there anymore. Yeah, we'll it's through. gone, done. Yeah. Exactly. And not to. Uh, you know be hard on ourselves if we feel like we're going through these cycles of clearing to celebrate as mandy said to celebrate and be grateful because we all know our light bodies are fully emerging our bodies literally are starting to feel like light they are so light oh a little help yes little collection did you ask the stone? <laughs> They're doing a little sacred ceremony on the beautiful rock, collecting a little bit of moss. We'll just tune in for a moment as we walk in the dusk. Enjoying the beauty of the trees and the sacredness of this spectacular miracle together in love. And here we are, glorious beings of creation. Here we are, beautiful in our cosmic love. So as Mandy and Eddie collect a little bit of moss in the sacred forest, we say, what star system is calling we on this miracle day? And is it some vast, distant planet? Or are we accessing the star maps inside of ourselves to reconfigure 
the construction of these physical bodies, these physical bodies that we call ourselves. Eddie's running up the hill. You're running. Oh, he's taking the mic. Okay. I just want to say thank you so much for showing up and for having the courage to just feel your feelings and just moving through them and bear witness of that. You know, you are such a warrior and I love you so much because you are me and I am you and we're all in this together. And as we move through and we, we ask and we receive and we give and we, we share ourselves courageously, the more that we expand and the more that we expand, the more that we can change the whole field and the more that we can amplify so much more love. And it's just such a beautiful journey. So no matter where you're at right now, you're in the, you're in the thick of it. <laughs> you're in the light of it. You know, you feel your wings or you feel the deep tether, whatever it is, we meet you there with love and we see you and we hear you and we're here right in this one giant pulse Woo! all together. So we're doing it. We're doing it right now and we're changing everything so fast we may, no, we may only physically see the 1% of it all, but we can feel it if we go right in. So you're courageous for feeling, and here she is running. Here She's down. so beautiful. She's, She's such a goddess. Amazing. Look at her with her beautiful hair. Gorgeous being. Oh, don't you just love the, <laughs> the divine feminine? So good. Honor her and her expression. Oh, oh yeah, we got a bag so full of good. beautiful moss. So good. <laughs> Yeah, so I just wanted to express that because it was stirring within me. And don't be afraid to write poetry and to express on this technology devices that we now have to be able to, to share a truth. So, um, yes, thank you. So amazed we. We are so blessed. We. Yes, I'm still on record. Um, well, that is really epic sharing. Thank you. And yeah, how profound you. it is that we have all the coding inside of us to be anything and everything. That's what we are doing now. And we are in that cosmic moment of frame shift mutation. Mm. This is what we're feeling inside of ourselves, which is why we don't know it and all of that. But it's why we're getting super transparent and intimate and taking off all of the veils because biology is in, in yeah in order to go into frame shift mutation we got to <sighs> clear the vessel out mm-hmm. did you want to say something well, Miss mandy i'd you like to say you? that clearing isn't always easy but it does feel really good to be in a support system I was speaking about this earlier is sometimes when we have to go through something that's hard we feel like it's a it's a burden almost like to have to go through something hard with other people but I really believe that we cultivate these community support systems through our friends and our family and the people that like our soul tribe that the people who we connect with on a soul level and oftentimes what I see happening is in these spiritual groups we don't even some people do but I think the majority of people don't really ask for what they actually need which is sometimes you just need to be weak and sometimes you just need to feel what you need to feel and be held in that space uh and I I think it's all sunshine and rainbows and we think oh well if I'm not in a good mood maybe I shouldn't go to that event like you were saying before is if there's an event happening it's easy to just say oh well I'm not feeling 100% and maybe I just it's better if I just don't go or I don't have anything to offer right now or like my energy levels aren't as high as they could be today but I think those are the times when we really need to lean into community and ask to be seen in our vulnerability and ask to be witnessed in our weakness so that people can really understand the depth of who we are on on like this full spectrum of hum- humanity and see us in our own humanness so that when we when we are shining bright they can experience that and have the deeper sense of compassion and the deeper sense of appreciation because they know that just like it's not always sunny it's always gonna rain and 
we can appreciate the rain and we can appreciate the storms when they do come because we know that that's when we're that's when we need tribe the most what do you think is making it easier to weather the storm than used to that's what's making it easier to weather our own storms yeah to weather these storms like Mm. you know do you feel like it's getting easier I do think it's getting easier I think well for me personally what makes it easier is listening to people who are who are that I can relate to who are going through similar things and having the same revelations and getting to the point where I realize how connected I really am I think that social media in that sense does help because it allows us to see that these thoughts that we're having and the feelings that we're having they don't actually really belong to us we're actually just transmitting them like radio frequencies and we don't have to internalize them we can actually just bring them out and hold them all together in love because actually when we all hold them together we can amplify our power to dissolve the darkness and dissolve the density because it's not just us trying to fight our own battles alone it's actually just us witnessing our own darkness and bringing it out into the light together unified and through this unconditional divine witnessing where we can be witnessed and we can witness others and that's really for me has been really helpful because then I know that when I'm going through something hard that somebody somebody's going to relate and if I share that somebody is going to feel better about it and vice versa it's so beautiful when we realize that it's our similarities Mm -hmm. uh you know that that we're much more uh similar than we are different and the beauty of that uh invocation of that word weakness um we we lived in a society that was the survival of the fittest Mm -hmm. ideal but what is uh considered weak actually is our strength to do exactly what you're sharing which is be transparent Mm -hmm. and it's actually not weak at all what we've discovered is that's a huge part of our cracking of our shell is our capacity to say this is how I'm feeling I'm not feeling stoic I'm not feeling strong and when we're sharing from that place we actually come across as stronger than we've ever (laughs) appeared to be by the other versions of us yes (sighs) hmm I mean, we're all in this cosmic dance together, and as the pendulum swings from darkness to light, and that's the whole aspect, you know, and, like, that's the beauty, and be able to really (sighs) really absorb that truth that we're really all in it together, you know? Like, really, literally mirrors all over the place. And triggering, sure, yes, but that's, that's beautiful, too. I mean, I'm really grateful we are all so grateful for the triggers because they are the guides Mm -hmm. and they return us even more to home if we could just use open up our hearts more and more and more to that witnessing instead of shutting down traditionally you know that vulnerability is courage and there's so much appreciation for this vulnerability that is sweeping through everything right now i just see it all over the place and uh, so much more honored than any other timeline it feels like right now so it feels so liberating yeah i mean we are really in such a profound miracle of liberation and what felt this um 2019 the summer uh, we will use the words was very hard (laughs) (laughs) um one of the sharings that um comes through in the transmissions the guidance goes Oh, yes. When our higher selves saw 2019, they were like all kind of rubbing their heads and going like, oh, God, how are we going to present this to our avatars down here? If they have any idea what 2019 is going to involve, we're just not going to make it through. So let's give them as little intel as possible uh, so that we could make it through to our 2020 vision to see with clarity the truth of it all, that it's a big play that we 
orchestrated and love, of course, is what we all uh, celebrate at the Grand Ball. Mm -hmm. The love that is within us and the loving... Oh my gosh, I love this rock face. It's so beautiful. (gasps) Mystical. My God, I love you so much. Pardon me. We are going to stop and hug a massive, beautiful rock face for a miracle coordinate. Hi, gorgeous being. We love we. So joyous walking around this park. Oh my goodness, we are so blessed. Yes, the uh, greatest miracle of all is that the most challenging soul relationships when we, I speak about this often, when we get to go up and sit in the center of our mothership and look down on the entire creation, the hardest ones are the funniest from there. And it's true because we realize that we are our own creator and we are guiding ourself, our avatar down here from above and sometimes we get tapped on the shoulder and sometimes we get knocked a little hard by the over self to keep steering us onto our path of perfection. Mm-hmm. And the path of perfection is the path of love in recognizing there was never an external authority or even an authority from above that we are quantum creators and this is cosmic love. We are remembering the beauty of the core cosmic principles of creation to create beauty and love The greatest renaissance ever has truly, truly begun. The expression of art and superabundance and the greatest expression of what it means to be spirit in human, in our perfection, in alignment with all of creation. This is where we are now. We are literally all artists co-creating and painting our reality into form Mm -hmm. all the time. That's why we should really hopefully be really careful with how we talk to ourselves and how we interact with the world, you know, and uh, the more compassionate, the more loving, the more that we could surrender to that, the more just the magic seems to unfold with us, you know, just like our calm, beautiful presence allows for deer and bunnies to come towards us. So do the, the miraculous channelings and teachings come through us to be brought into the physical, into this physical, at least. Yeah. So grateful for that because we could literally make all of our dreams come true. Like nothing is stopping us ever. Only us, technically, <laughs> in some shape or form. But yeah, re- re- so release cool. the dam of inspiration. This is a dream come true. The Living Library, the largest social global broadcasting network for peace is happening right now. 7 to 13 of us traveling the earth everywhere we go. Spontaneous healing and spontaneous peace is now. It is such a joy to be together. And we will say that, you know, some of the seeds that we've been planting along the way, we've been planting for what feels like a long time but there really is no such thing as time now. We are cosmic quantum creators. Hey, universe, just look at us now. (laughs) (laughs) Miss Mandy, do you have words of wisdom that you would like to share? Well, I was thinking about how our job is to, as cosmic creators and infinite portals of creation, our only job really is to feel into the present moment whatever we're feeling is perfection itself because if it wasn't being then it wouldn't be perfection and I was inspired by a poem that Eddie wrote 
that talked about the role of the artist and it was just it was such a such a relief to know that as humans we have all these roles that we play all these masks that we wear and all these jobs that we take on as responsibilities but really our only responsibility is to feel because the more that we feel the more open we are the opposite of contraction expansion and in order to feel we have to expand so the more that we expand the more that we can feel and the more that we can feel the more that we're able to channel through and to create into the present moment which is the only moment ever <laughs> yeah so feel it all feeling it all always always in always this calls for a group hug mm. feeling is healing feeling is healing mm. We mm-hmm. love this moment. We love we this love moment. We love all. We love this moment. And always. <laughs> always and always. Wow. Oh! Let's Should do a howl. Just... Let's do another howl. Okay, let's do the howl. We'll describe the scenery to you a little bit. It's like twilight now, and we're standing on the edge of a rocky face cliff covered in moss and bedded in oak trees that the sun are. Sun is setting, and the clouds are just rolling past very serenely mm. and calmly, just witnessing us as well. And the silhouette of the trees poking up is gorgeous and grounded. And here comes a doggy. He's going, who was howling? <laughs> Hi, beauty. Uh, you're bringing us a gift. Hi. Oh, oh sweetie. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> so gorgeous with Lovely. his little lit collar on. Mm. Yeah, the silhouette of the, the mountainside across this beautiful lake. Mm. And I love this lake. This rocky bluff that we're standing mm-hmm. over. and So many possibilities to see beauty at every angle. Mm-hmm. Like, how blessed are we to be able to have this so accessible all the time here? Mm-hmm. You know? A star. The first star. Oh, yeah. Boom. Mm-hmm. Pops up just as we say that. The star is born. Mm-hmm. And here we are, star seeds mm-hmm. upon this mm-hmm. earth and beyond. And the Arbutus are just so sensual and so alive in front of us twirling and almost like they're dancing on the spot these beautiful grids of the Albion (laughs) the fairies and the elvins more of the fairies were going hey it's past our bedtime who's howling on the side of (laughs) the lake excuse me (laughs) I think I think the fairies go to bed before dusk definitely they tuck in yeah feeling that the elvins are more under the moonlight. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. I imagine they wake up at sunrise. They p- they play at, with play. the sunrise, probably. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Well yeah. They need the rest. Yeah. They don't really need it, but they like it because they go into other dimensions and they they get to play in other realms. Yes. Why not? You know. Exactly. Mm. That's great. Yeah. I have to say that standing here with you two beauties is such an honor and such a magical, miraculous moment. It really is. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, the I feel living library. so gifted to be so safe and to feel so, so open all the time more and more in my life and to have such beautiful, powerful, feminine pillars next to me just makes me so proud mm. to be here right now. Mm-hmm. Mm. We love we. Sending this love out to the planetary logos and all of life right from here, right now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yay to being heard. Yay to being listened to and to be received. Yeah. Mm-hmm. To give unconditionally. Mm-hmm. To serve. 
with love. We know that we are gathered with a beautiful, amazing collective that is tuning into this love stream now. And mm. We're just going to create a few quiet miracle moments for each listener to speak out loud and to be heard mm. by this whole container. So each we listening, if there's something that you've been needing to say or a song you want to sing or a poem you want to share. Express your beautiful self. Yeah. We are listening now. My goodness, what a divine choir of voices. Mm -hmm. Wow. Even the fairies are listening now. Mm -hmm. I have a song I'd like to share. Yes. You know this song. The nature of the universe being relaxing expansion. The nature of the universe being relaxing expansion. I relax, release, surrender, and receive. I relax, release, surrender, and receive. I am wholeness. Wellness in magic, I believe. I am wellness, wholeness in magic, I believe. I am creating space for miracles. I am creating space for miracles. I am peaceful, powerful, passionate, and free. I am peaceful, powerful, passionate, and free. I am whole. Well, in magic, I believe. I am whole. I am well. In magic, I believe. I am creating space for miracles. I am creating space for miracles. Mm-hmm.